unexpectedly my head popped out of the water so the writer accepted his death and he was thinking that he died but unexpectedly he didn't die he was alive and his head popped out came out of the water where he was drowned a few meters away wave walker was near capsizing a few meters away their boat wave walker was near capsizing it was almost overturned in the water her mast almost horizontal her is for boat mast almost horizontal so mast are always standing vertically but now they are horizontal then a wave hurled her upright then there was another wave and this wave hurled this boat upright my lifeline jerk thought so they were wearing lifeline jackets and all so his lifeline jacket it pulled tight i grabbed the guard rails and sailed through the air into wave walker's main boom boom is the pole that controls the angle and shape of the sail so he says that uh, unexpectedly his hat popped out of the water a few meters away wave walker was near capsizing her mast almost horizontal then a wave hurled her upright and his lifeline jerked tight and he grabbed the guard rail and sailed through the air into wave walker's main boom main place he sailed to the ship's main pole then the wave subsequent waves subsequent waves the waves which came later so the subsequent waves there were high waves and then later there were other waves and these waves tossed me around the deck the waves tossed the narrator around the deck like a rag doll rag doll like a cloth doll so he was feeling himself lifeless and these waves they were working they were tossing him here and there on that ship my left ribs cracked my mouth filled with blood and broken teeth so he was badly injured somehow i found the wheel but he didn't leave his hope he didn't quit and he was trying his best to save that ship to save his family so somehow he found the wheel lined up the stern for the next wave and hung her on and he was hanging on there to save that ship water water everywhere it's a very popular line from a very famous poem rhyme of the ancient mariner that was also based on ship and a storm so water water everywhere now in that ship he just uh, illustrated these lines from that poem and he says water water everywhere that in that ship in that boat there was water everywhere i could feel that i could feel that the ship had water below but i dared not abandon the wheel to investigate fine he could feel that there was water in the ship uh, inside the ship but he could not bear to leave that wheel to investigate to find out what had happened suddenly the front hatch hatches door of ship you will find this part of ship also in that picture suddenly the front hatch was thrown open and mary narrator's wife appeared she was there and she was screaming we are sinking the decks are smashed we are full of water then narrator shouted take the wheel as i scramble for the hulk so giving the wheel to his wife he scrambled for the hat he moved to uh, he moved towards that door larry and her the crew man they were pumping like madmen they were pumping they were pumping to send the water out broken timbers hung at the crazy angles now the ship was dragged also and uh, many parts of their body ship's body was broken so broken timbers is the uh, is for that wooden part of ship's body so broken timbers hung at crazy angles the whole starboard side bulged inward inwards clothes crockery charts things and toys sloshed about in deep water so all the things which they were having all were sloshing about all were moving here and there in the water 
I half swam, half crawled into the children's cabin. As the as now the narrator was concerned about the children, so he reached to children's cabin. And as there was too much water, so he couldn't walk. He had to swim. Then he had to crawl. And finally, he reached to children's cabin. And he asked them, "Are you all right?" Children answered, "Yes." But my head hurts a bit," said Sue. Narrator's daughter, she got an injury, and pointing to a big bump above her eyes, she said that my head hurts a bit. I had no time to worry about bumped heads. Narrator says that at that moment he didn't have time to worry to worry about these small injuries, about bumped heads and all. So he tried to find out. the tools and after finding a hammer screws and canvas he struggled back on deck to repair the deck so that he could save the ship uh, he could uh, close all the holes with the starboard side bashed open starboard the right side of our ship as the starboard side was bashed open it was hit open and they were taking water with each wave that broke over us so with each wave their boat was filling with water and there was full chances that they would sink surely if they couldn't make some repairs so his main aim was to fill that holes to repair the deck to repair the boat so that they could save themselves to be drowned somehow he managed to stretch canvas and secure waterproof hatch covers across the gaping holes some water continued to stream below it's not that there was no water now some water continued to stream below but he made amendments he made uh, immediate amendments so that uh, they could save most of the water and most of it most of the water was now being deflected deflected it was being turned aside more problem arose when our hand pumps started to block up so he could repair one thing but now as the pumps they were using to clean up the water so more problem arose our hand pumps they started to block up with the debris debris all the rubbish which was floating as uh, there were so many things in that storm which were uh, floating on that water so more problem arose now these hand pumps they started block to block up because of the rubbish floating around the cabins and the electric pump short circuited the water level rose threateningly because they were not able to send the water out back on deck i found that our two spare hand pumps had been wrenched over board rest they were just twisting violently along with the four stay sail the jib the dinghies and the main anchor then i remembered we had another electric pump under the chart room floor i connected it to an out pipe and was thankful to find that it worked so in such panic situations it happens that we we forget the things but he was trying his best to keep his senses awakened and to make all the efforts to save the boat and to save the family